In my last video, we demonstrated the uh, the making of the, the little emergency tinder pouches. And just so you can see, you can keep it in the uh, in your kind of emergency kit, Altoids tin, or you can use some uh, rubber banding to band it on a survival bracelet. This is uh, my survival bracelet that I've developed over the uh, last little while. Just to go over it quickly, it's got your whistle, ferrocerium rod, a striker. Now this striker was catching on everything, so I put some hot glue across the, the sharp edges, and I zip tied it on there, so when I actually really need it, if I'm without a knife, for example, then I can take that off. Compass. There's two tinder packets held on with a ranger band. Inside the banding here are two hooks, leader, and these are two little uh, stoppers. You can also use those as attractants or bobbers. There is uh, roughly 30 yards of braided line underneath the swivel held in place with another ranger band. On the bottom is a ceramic knife and striker. So we're going to demonstrate, if you just had one of your bands, how to get one of these uh, tinder packets lit. Here's our tinder packet. We're just going to assume that it's harvested off our bracelet, for example, or out of our survival kit. Here's my ceramic rod. It's a blade on there as well, a very sharp, sharp blade. Oh, I forgot the uh, the paracord itself is actually the paracord with the built-in snare wire, fire line, and fishing line all built inside the uh, inside the uh, the cord itself. Okay, we're going to use our blade, and we've cut open the tinder pouch. Inside, we can see we're actually going to cut the tinder packet open without cutting our fingers. Oh, this one was a, a double. Feels like I'm opening a Kinder Egg. There's the two pieces. Now we're not going to throw away our plastic. And in fact, these are the plastic sticks inside these Tinder packets. And this is all covered in Vaseline. So we're going to take a second and really pull and fluff these apart. You want to increase the surface area as much as you can. So because we have two, we'll use both of them. So you just grab and fluff all that tinder apart. Again, take your time. You want it as fine as possible. Really break it down. And again, these are the nylon stick ones. These are not uh, cardboard, but uh, we're going to keep all the materials handy. Because you never know. Okay, use this as the, the ferro rod. Use this ceramic tag as the striker. And we're going to try to strike that into our tinder bundle. Okay, burns up quick. We didn't have any other tinder on there, but you can see how these tinder package, those straws really, really work well. And all that was done with our survival bracelet where we took one of our tinder pouches off there. And our ceramic striker. Now we're gonna replace the striker on our bracelet before we we lose it
Okay, you can see our, we've replaced our ceramic striker. Underneath the Ranger band, there is uh, two of the tinder packets for next time. Held on with a Ranger band on our survival bracelet. Now we know that the tinder pouches and the ceramic striker on the ferrocerium rod work. Well guys, thanks for joining me today. That was a quick little video. I wanted to showcase the, uh, the tinder packets in action off my survival bracelet. That's where I keep them. Uh, you can keep them in an Altoids tin or in the bottom of any EDC pouch or, or carrier. I use the ferro rod, the ceramic striker, and the knife to cut open those. And from there, very quick way to have that tinder on your person all the time. Many of us can harvest tinder uh, in, in any environment, but giving a very kind of wet, uh, kind of cold environment. Sometimes that's a little harder to do That's it guys. Thanks for watching tune in next time when we have another great video uh, Don't forget to click the bell notification send me any Q&A's that you have about anything that you're seeing in my videos and until next time Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your outdoors Bye for now